Today I'll go over my best tips to alleviate tailbone pain during pregnancy. If you are pregnant and new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and press the bell button below so you don't miss any of my pelvic floor tips for an empowering birth and postpartum recovery. Some women can experience tailbone pain in pregnancy. And I want to be clear when I say tailbone pain, I really mean pain right on that little bone above your butt crack. And it often gets worse with uh, sitting for a long time or even sitting on harder surfaces. There can be several reasons that explain these symptoms in pregnancy. The first one being the weight of your growing baby putting pressure on the tailbone. And in other cases, it is from that pelvic instability, you know, like the relaxant hormone um, that is present in your body when you're pregnant makes everything loose in your body. And sometimes that bone called the sacrum bone can become misaligned and off-centered. And since your tailbone is at the end of your sacrum, sometimes it can just kind of sit funny and like be not right in the center. Tension in the pelvic floor muscles uh, can also cause tailbone pain because your pelvic floor is connected directly to your tailbone. I have noticed that my patients who experience tailbone injuries in the past, even if it's years ago, are more likely to develop these symptoms. Uh, so I'm talking to you horseback riders and snowboarders. Strategy number one is change position often. So first, identify how much time you can sit without triggering your tailbone pain and try to change position before that time. Um, so, you know, whether it is using a standing desk or standing up for a minute or so or changing the type of seating that you're using. For example, you could go from a chair to an exercise ball. Um, you know, whatever you can do to avoid being in the same position for an extended period of time will be great. So for example, if you can sit 30 minutes without pain, uh, you can put a timer on your phone or something to remind you to change position after, you know, 25 minutes, for example. I know this is not always easy depending on your work, but the more you go over your limit, and the more your tailbone will hurt. It's as simple as that. Strategy number two is offloading. There are tailbone cushions out there that can be super helpful to offload the area so you can sit comfortably. And I don't really recommend the famous uh, inflatable donut cushion <laughs> because they tend to be really unsteady and uncomfortable. So what I suggest instead is to use a wedge firm foam cushion that has a hole around the tailbone area. And this is something you can find in most rehab stores or online. Strategy number three is move your pelvis. So, you know, mobilizing your pelvis can also help at unwinding the tensions around the tailbone, around the sacrum, you know, just all in all, like making sure everything is not getting jammed in there. So my favorite mobilization exercise for tailbone pain is cat-cow. And you really want to put the emphasis on moving your tailbone up toward the ceiling and then down toward the floor within a comfortable range for you. And just repeating that five to 10 times and doing that daily. I will also link my birth ball flow in the description below that I find would be super appropriate for your tailbone pain. Strategy number four is pelvic floor release. So as we said earlier, um, your pelvic floor muscles are connected directly to your tailbone. And it is very common in the clinic to find tightness in these muscles when I assess my clients who report tailbone pain. So the first thing you can do to release tensions in your pelvic floor is to stretch it on a daily basis. Um, so you can do that through a deep squat, happy baby or child's pose. And the second thing is you could also massage your pelvic floor using massage balls. So I will link my videos to show you these techniques in the description below in case you want to try that. And strategy number five is get some help. I know I keep repeating this over and over, but if you have tried the four first strategies and it's still not working, your best bet is to consult with a pelvic health physical therapist to assess your pelvic alignment and your pelvic floor. 
And if you don't have a pelvic health physiotherapist in your area, working with an experienced manual practitioner who can assess your alignment of your sacrum and pelvis, um, you know, it can be a general physiotherapist, an osteopath or a chiropractor, for example, uh, would be also my suggestion. Now, before we leave, I just wanted to let you know that I'm hosting a free birth prep class on a regular basis to help prepare your pelvis and your pelvic floor for a positive birth experience. And that includes preparing your tailbone. Uh, so if you're into that, make sure you sign up in the description below and reserve your seat for my next class. I hope to see you there and thanks for watching.